To say you gotta know somebody or know somebody to give Good afternoon, you're listening to Addicted to, to Real Estate Radio. I'm Phil Falcone with my co-host Jeremy Ricci here on WWDB 860 AM Studios high atop the City Line Avenue skyline. Every Thursday at 3 o'clock and every Saturday at 6 p.m. If you want to ask us a question or you have a real estate need, give us a call, 267-988-2000. That's an easy number to remember, 267-988-2000. So, addicted to real estate, what do we do? We're full-time real estate investors. We're non-stop real estate investing machines. Yes, we buy houses. If you have one you're looking to sell, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about it. We also have an agency, Addicted to Real Estate Agency, where real estate agents and realtors can hang their license and be involved in investing deals as well as just being real estate agents. We have three offices, one in Montgomeryville on 309, one in Hatboro, and one in Huntington Valley. We also do investor and realtor education meetings every month. You can find out more about that at AddictedToRealEstate.com with the number 2, AddictedToRealEstate.com. So on today's uh, show, we have a guest, our buddy, uh, a young man who's very impressive, Julian Bradley. How you doing, Julian? I'm doing amazing. Thank you for having me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing amazing. All right. All right, that's great. What's going on with you, Jeremy? Just having a good time. I got some great headsets here. Man, look at it. Brett hooked us up. Macaroni. He hooked us up with high-quality equipment. He only hooked me up for now, but you know, pretty <laughs> soon you guys will get hooked up with these Beats So headphones. did anything uh, interesting or exciting happen to you this weekend? We went. To, we got, like, waterlogged. We went to a lot of water parks. We went to... Swimming. We bought a hoarding house. How's that? Right before Phil went to the shore last week, we bought a little hoarding house. Yeah. yeah. I had a great weekend, man. We bought a house Thursday. We bought a house Friday. I hopped in my convertible, drove 90 miles an hour down to the shore. I didn't get a ticket, although wow. I was planning on, you know, I figured I could afford one. That's a first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, uh, then I, I had a great weekend down there with my family, and then I came back Sunday, and I, I drove 91 miles an hour. <laughs> so it was a good time, you know. Convertibles are great, man. I got a, I got one of those BMW Z4s. You push a button and the roof goes into the trunk. And to me, it's just like you could be in a bad mood. You're having a bad day. But with the sun shining in your face, the wind blowing your hair all over the place, the music blasting, and people giving me fingers left and right. I mean, I just love it, you know? There's I, a comedian. He said, he said uh, you know, they say money doesn't buy you happiness, but it buys you a jet ski. You ever see somebody sad on a jet ski? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely on a jet ski. <laughs> I think well, that was Daniel Tosh or something that's funny. <laughs> also, I, I broke a record this weekend, one of my own personal records. Uh, on this ride down the shore, five people gave me the finger. Now, I had three people give me the finger a couple of times. I never had four, and I certainly never dreamed of having five. So that was a big thing for me. So what precipitated that? You The fact that you had a... Driving by them 90 miles an hour, cutting them off and things like that, you know? Hey, I'm just having fun. I like to drive my car. I don't just drive from one place to another. I drive it. So, Jeremy, tell us about the real estate questions of the week. So, questions for this week. How do you analyze a good deal? We're going to go over that. It's a question that people often have. And secondly, how do I assemble a team? You can't operate in this business alone, so you need a team, and we'll, uh, we'll help you give you some tips on how to assemble that team. And somebody else wants to ask some of our recent success stories, which is always a good thing and motivates people. So we'll, we'll share with you some of the recent success stories. So if you have questions, you can email them in to phil at addictedtorealestate.com. It's phil at the number two, addicted, the number two, realestate.com. So our main topic for today, how can you learn to make more, how can you learn more about real estate investing? What are the ways you can learn more about this business? And we'll share with you that. I had a good conversation with a friend of mine who's got a, a business or looking to branch out into another business. And this is, a, I think, a solid business to have as a second second form of uh, income for yourself or wealth producing. And lastly, realtors versus real estate agents. Did you know that there was a difference? And there is. We'll, we'll go over that. Okay. That sounds like, like some interesting stuff, especially those questions. I like, uh, I like those questions. They're getting better all the time. So stick around as we discuss these topics and much more. You're listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. We'll be right back. 
As a real estate agent, you know that most people buy a house once every seven years. Imagine working with clients that buy seven houses every year. At Addicted to Real Estate, they teach you how to work with investors because they are investors. Located in Montgomeryville, Hatboro, and Huntington Valley, work at an agency built for investors, buy investors, and finally learn how to invest yourself. Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Call them now, 215-321-SELL. 215-321-SELL. Stand this traffic. I need a vacation. Slip away to Siesta Key in Sarasota, Florida. You can stay at one of our vacation rentals at the number one rated beach in the United States. Check out GoSiesta.com where you can rent a fully furnished vacation rental for less than the cost of a stinking hotel room. Check out GoSiesta.com or call 863-2-SIESTA. That's 863-2-SIESTA or GoSiesta.com. GoSiesta.com or call 863-2-SIESTA. I'm going. When dealing with your home financing, you need a lender you can trust. A mortgage lender like Thomas Farris at First Choice Loan Services Incorporated. The purchase of your home will likely be the largest financial investment you will make in your lifetime. Work with a mortgage provider who considers your long-term financial goals and puts you first. Thomas Farris at First Choice Loan Services will provide you competitive mortgage rates and service beyond belief for every step of the loan process. Call Thomas Farris at 215-983-8649 today to visit about your mortgage needs. Thomas Farris, NMLS, number is 785398. First Choice Loan Services Incorporated, NMLS, number 210764, equal housing lender. Robinson Insurance Group is addicted to real estate's preferred insurance broker. Why deal with an insurance agent who only represents one company? Robinson Insurance Group can quote you all the companies and shop to get you the best insurance for your needs. Fix and flip, landlord coverage, last-minute deals, no problem. Investor deals are no issue and nobody is ever denied. Call Robinson Insurance Group, 215-918-2555. That's 215-918-2555. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for four ninety five a month at Executech Suites? You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the internet. You get two full-time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home sleeping on a couch. You get the conference rooms. You get the mailboxes. You get the printer, the copy, the scan. You get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month, but it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701, 215-942-7701. Hi, I'm Larry Steinhaus, and I'm addicted to real estate. Are you a real estate investor? Do you know the value of having a real estate license? It's awesome. You get to make even more money and get exposed to deals you probably would have missed. Well, today is your lucky day. I will pay for your real estate license. Find out more by calling me at 215-378-9190. That's right. I will pay for your license. Call now, 215-378-9190. Addicted to real estate, bridging the gap between investors and realtors. 215-378-9190. Welcome back to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. I'm Phil Falcone, and this is a segment where we're going to start talking about the questions, answering these wonderful questions that came in. So, Jeremy, the first question is, how do you analyze a good real estate deal? So the first thing that comes to mind about analyzing a real estate deal. You got a money site on there. That's awesome. <laughs> you go on Facebook Live right now, so if you can hear this, if you're on Facebook, uh, join us up. Join up. Look up Phil. Look up Jeremy. Even Julian Bradley. You're mm-hmm. on Facebooks too. So, to analyze a real estate deal, the first thing you need to know is what's your exit strategy, right? If it's is it a good deal? Well, there's two things. There's cash flow. There's equity. There's upside. If you're looking for a deal where you're just going to fix and flip it or if it's a wholesale deal, something like that, the only thing you have to negotiate is price. So when we're calculating price, we calculate what's the after-repaired value of the property. We usually take 65 to 70 percent of that. Let's say it's a $100,000 property. We'll go 65 to 70 percent of that, 65,000 to 70,000, and then we subtract out repairs. So if it needs 30K in work, 
You take your 70 down 30K, and that's your maximum. That's what we call Mayo, maximum allowable offer. So uh, you're at 40,000, 40,000 to repair, 40,000 to buy the place, 30 grand to repair it. It's, at the end of the day, it's worth 70. You sell it for 100. Your closing costs come out, and there's some good profit there. Now, the other thing is, if it's a, if you're going to analyze a deal, it's a owner financing deal, or let's say it's a long-term rental, then you're really more, looking more into the the terms of the financing than you are what the uh, price is. So the, the example I give people is uh, the house that you live in right now, I would buy your house for a million dollars. Would you sell it for a million dollars? And most people say absolutely, unless they live in a $2 million house. <laughs> they're they're going to say absolutely. But the thing is, if I just give you $1,000 a month until the million dollars is paid off, doesn't that change circ- the circumstances? So it's really a... The long-term buy-and-hold game, which is the game that we try to encourage people to get involved in, is buy-and-hold, be a landlord, let these tenants pay down your houses over time. That's really – your goal in that is to get great financing. So a million dollars, a thousand dollars a month for, you know, a thousand months, whatever that is. Uh, my grandkids will be paying it off, but it's a good deal, right? So, so you're always looking at what's a good deal? Well, are you buying equity at a discount or are you getting an income stream that – covers all its expenses. It's got to cover the mortgage payments, it's got to cover the taxes, it's got to cover the insurance, and then it has to leave enough of a cushion of profit for you that it's worth doing. So, Well, um, you know, that's that, the Mayo formula is a great way for a new person to try to determine, does it make sense to do this deal or not? But I'd like to put a little bit more of an emotional take on that answer as opposed to just a mathematical take on it. What I would say is, If you're getting into the business and you found yourself your first deal, I'd really like you to work on that, but to buy that first deal, and let's just suppose it's a flip, for example. I'd want you to buy that deal if you can, even if it's a marginal deal, just because for a new investor to find a deal and to actually buy it and to actually be renovating it, that is a huge thing for you, and it's a great ego booster. Just getting one under your belt. Getting one under one. your belt. So sometimes yeah. I would people say to me, people are always asking me all the time, Phil, is this a good deal? Would you buy this deal? I said, it doesn't matter if I would buy the deal. It matters if you would buy the deal. And let's just say that um, the deal is only going to make forty grand when it's done, and that's way below what the uh, maximum allowable offer calculation would prefer that you do a deal for. I'd still say do it. If 40 grand is going to help you a lot and it's going to get you into this business and it's going to get you a house that you would be proud to own at the end and be thrilled to do, then that's all different things that need to be factored in. I put a lot more emotion into real estate investing. I look at a property and if it's a buy and hold, I say to myself, is this a house? that I'll be proud to own 10 years from now? Is this a house that will be difficult to manage? Do I live close to this house? Do I like this neighborhood? Do I know contractors in this neighborhood to be willing to run over here and fix things? Would my plumber go to this house? Is it in the area or the region of which he's willing to go work in? Do I have a lot of friends in this area where I might know or, or know a lot of young people in this area who might want to rent this house? So all these things are factored into it. It's not just a mathematical formula. Now, if it's a wholesale deal, meaning that I'm going to buy a house and I'm going to get it under contract and then I'm just going to sell the contract to somebody else, it could be on Mars. I don't really care. It could be in, in, in Australia. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to be around long enough to even care. I'm going to get the thing under contract. Hopefully you'll be around long enough. The deal's not going to be around long enough. (laughs) I mean, I'm not going to be around in that neighborhood long enough. All right? I'm going to get the property locked up, and I'm going to sell the contract to somebody else. In that situation, it's it's a no-brainer kind of decision. Can I make some money on this thing or not? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. And if if it's a flip... You know, hey, uh, then I have to take some other things into consideration because a flip, the only reason I'm going to do a flip is to make, try to make money off of it. So the, the thing that I'm most likely thinking about with a flip is what is my current financial situation? If I've got tons of cash, then I don't really need to do this flip right now. And if I think this flip is dangerous, then I might not do it. But if I'm really light on cash and I need to get some money coming in, 
And maybe I got some big expenses coming, like some tax bills, like Halloween, for example. I get hit with a massive amount of tax bills from all these real estate pieces that I own where the taxes aren't escrowed in the mortgage payment. So I get hit with, you know, a massive amount of tax bills that are due to all these different counties. And so Halloween is a scary time for me, a very scary time. So I might do a flip right now just because I know that if I could work on the thing now and maybe get it sold sometime around Halloween, I could really use the money at that time. So that's just a a few ideas about it's not just a mathematical formula when you're trying to analyze a piece of real estate. It's like what is going on in your life? What are you going to do with this house? How do you feel about this house and all those other factors that we mentioned? What's your current financial situation? All those things come into play when you're trying to think about how to analyze a deal. Julian, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the, the deals that you've done and how you analyze them? Um, I use a real estate valuing software. It's web-based, and I also consult some of my mentors, just like you. So I ask you about the deal, and, um, and I always do my due diligence and make sure that everything that I'm about to invest in, my money's secure and that I'm going to get a good positive return. But at the end of the day, like you said, you're going to want to have to either have figure out your exit strategy. Is it going to be, are you going to flip it, or is this going to be something that you want to hold on to? And at the end of the day, me personally, since I'm trying to build up my capital, I'm trying to do a lot more flips than holds. But I know for a fact that I'm going to want to build up my rental portfolio within the next year or two so uh, I can start getting like you. So we have a lot other ways that we look at doing deals where we can say, you know, is it a good keep, is it a good flip? And a lot of times we'll have the deal dictate what we're going to do with it. But one of the things that you really should look should look at when you're buying a deal is is there multiple exit strategies? Are you able to are you able to buy it and flip it, buy it and rent it? Because you know what they say about a flip that doesn't flip, right? It's a good rental. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to you want to make sure that if you have let's say a uh, four hundred thousand dollar house that's on the market, like we do right now, we actually have one under contract that was a fix and flip. Well, a four hundred thousand dollar house, if Plan A flipping it doesn't work it's really tough to be able to rent that out and make any money. So the only thing you really have to do is to market it better, reduce the price, things like that. If you're buying a first-time home buyer house, in that case, you could you could always rent it. You could rent to own it. You can you can fix and flip it. You can do all, all of these things. So uh, that's something I would caution you as you're looking to analyze a deal. Try to find one that has multiple exit strategies. That's so. good advice. That's good advice. The one thing I'd like to say uh, before we move on to the next question is you mentioned that the deal kind of dictates what you're going to do with it. And that's really critical. Uh, Most of the time, the deal will tell you what the highest and best use for that particular deal is. You're going to find some house that's uh, a $300,000 house, and you're not going to fix that thing up and turn it into a rental. It's too expensive of a house. It's going to automatically be a flip. But you might find a $100,000 house that you would never think of keeping and and never really want to be involved in renting it, but it's a good thing to wholesale. So a lot of times the house does dictate to you uh, exactly what it is that you should be doing with it, its highest and best use. So let's get on to our next question. The next question is, how do I assemble a team? What do you think about that, Jeremy? Well, let's talk about um, what what that team should look like, what members of the team you should have. If you're in the in the acquisition business, you certainly need to have people that help you do the marketing. You have to have people that help you with the financing, finding those deals, financing the deals. So you need to have a, a hard money lender, a private lender, or a, some, you know, maybe you have a line of credit. You have to assemble some financing source. Also on your team, you need to have a, a real estate agent. That's somebody that's addicted to real estate would be good. That's somebody that works with investors. And at Addicted to Real Estate, that's what we specialize in. We have real estate agents that work specifically with investors. So you can go to some big box agency and possibly find somebody that has dealt with investors, but that's what we specialize in. So if you are thinking about getting into real estate investing or you are a real estate investor, you can, number one, get your license and hang it in our office, an investor-friendly office. Or you could just use one of our agents as, as a a team member for your your own team, somebody that understands real estate deals like we do. In fact, we don't really know traditional deals because we're not a traditional agency. So check it out. It's uh, a2re.com, A, the number 2, re.com. That's for Addicted to Real Estate. 
So check out the website and uh, find somebody. We can introduce you to somebody that we think would be a good fit for you on your team. You also need to have contractors, handymen. Uh, the one advice I'll give you about finding, assembling a good team is once you find a good contractor, ask them for their referral for other contractors. So let's say you have a good plumber, and the plumber has got great prices, and he works well, and he's fast, and he gets the job done, and he's dependable. What you do is you ask that plumber for an electrician because he's going to be on other job sites with other contractors. He's going to know who the people is, number one, that he likes dealing with, which is important, right? You have a couple guys all working on the same job site. They're going to be stepping all over each other. If, well, if they like the person that they're stepping all over, they'll be okay with that. <laughs> so, uh, so always ask your, your contractors for, for other contractors. And then, you know, as, what other what other t- team members do you think Phil would be uh, somebody that you know you have you have the real estate agent that you can li- buy through and sell with. You s- certainly can find deals off the market. You have a finance guy. You have a, a contractor team, accountant, and attorneys. Those are good. Yeah, I'd like to know. Uh, let's take you know Julian, who's a new investor. Who's on your team so far? Is there anyone on your team that you got so far? <laughs> Yeah, so I have a real estate agent. Um, shout out to Carlos. I have uh, my two mentors, Phil and Jeremy. And uh, I also have uh, a couple contractors that I, I know. I'm going to poss- potentially start doing work with them. Um, and then I also just have a group of other like-minded people. I feel like that's the biggest part for me be- because if you're into real estate and you're you're starting out new. It's it's good to surround yourself with people who are experienced and years ahead of you, and also who are going. The, these are the people who you can bounce ideas off of, and then ask if you're going in the right direction, so you don't make mistakes. And um, you know, the, everyone will help each other out. So I, I always go to different meetings. Um, the addicted to real estate meeting is the one I go to. I go to a few other ones. Uh, in addition, but at the end of the day, I want to always surround myself with other people who are investors who have the same mindset as me so I can continue to grow and they can grow with me as well. You know, I got a shout out to Carlos too. Carlos, come and see me. I want to talk to you about <laughs> joining Addicted to Real Estate. <laughs> you <laughs> <We're>, should. <laughs> we're mentoring a, your, your client here and uh, we don't want to steal him from you. We want you to just come and hang with us. So... Give us a call, 267-988-2000. Anybody out there who's thinking about getting their real estate license, guess what we do? We pay for your schooling. So your school costs are going to be pretty minimal, under $500. But if you're going to come and hang your license at Addicted to Real Estate, we will pay for your schooling. How do you like that deal? And if you're a real estate investor who's even thinking of buying one house a year or one house every two years... Your license will essentially be free, meaning that all of the costs associated with having your license will be recouped with just one deal done every two years on average. That's a no-brainer for me. So if you're going to do any kind of real estate deal, you should have a real estate license. And if you're an investor, there is no investor-friendly agency out there except for Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Give us a call at 267-988-2000. Now we got one more question here. Jeremy, what are some of your recent successes? Well, we can... um you know, one that just happened recently, we had this, uh, the Addicted to Real Estate, we had the Hapro Car Show, and it was a nice little promotion here. We got a, we got a, we did a little moon bounce for the kids, we had a pony rides there, and we set up a little booth, and based on that, we had somebody stop by, and they wanted us to uh, buy their house, and sure enough, uh, that was what, on a Saturday? And then just this, mm. just last Monday, we went and we uh, saw the house and signed a contract to buy it. So uh, that was a nice little success story. It shows you the little goodwill, a little marketing, get your name out there, and people will come and, and find you. And this lady found us, and we were able to sign up a deal. It's uh, hopefully going to be a pretty good deal for us. It's a short sale. needs a lot of work. But, uh, you know, like anything, there's the opportunities that you find, and then there's the deals that you make out of those opportunities. So It was a great uh, Hatboro Car Show day, with the exception the of rain. the monsoon that yeah. came down on us and kind of ruined the show. But um, we did have a moon bounce for the kitties, and we had pony rides for the kitties. And I came up with this grand finale idea, because you got to have something exciting going on at the car show, was to put the kids on the ponies, put the ponies on the moon bounce, and see what happens. 
But then, you know, thunderstorms came and kind of uh, destroyed that whole idea. So next year, people, next year, Hatboro Car Show. Kids on ponies, on moon bounces, you name it. We're going to be doing it all. So stick around as we discuss how you can learn more about the real estate investing business. When we come back, you're listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. We'll be right back. Have you heard about the recent low mortgage rates? Have you started thinking about refinancing your home? Why not work with a mortgage lender who puts you first? Thomas Farris at First Choice Loan Services Incorporated will provide you personalized service to make sure your home financing meets your needs both now and in the future. Call Thomas Farris at 215-983-8649 today and learn how the current low interest rates may mean it's the right time for you to buy or refinance. Call Thomas Farris at 215-983-8649. Thomas Farris, NMLS, number is 785398. First Choice Loan Services Incorporated, NMLS number 210764, equal housing lender. Hi, my name's Phil Falcone. I wrote a book called Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And if you'd love to see an investment book written by a Philadelphian about investing in Philadelphia, I'm your man. You can check out my book at addictedtorealestate.com with the number two. I have a free web TV show there. I have free investment forms for real estate investors. And I have my book that you can check out, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And the website is Addicted. Addicted to real estate with the number two dot com. Robinson Insurance Group is addicted to real estate's preferred insurance broker. Why deal with an insurance agent who only represents one company? Robinson Insurance Group can quote you all the companies and shop to get you the best insurance for your needs. Fix and flip, landlord coverage, last minute deals, no problem. Investor deals are no issue and nobody is ever denied. Call Robinson Insurance Group, 215-918-2555. That's 215-918-2555. As a real estate agent, you know that most people buy a house once every seven years. Imagine working with clients that buy seven houses every year. At Addicted to Real Estate, they teach you how to work with investors because they are investors. Located in Montgomeryville, Hatboro, and Huntington Valley, work at an agency built for investors, buy investors, and finally learn how to invest yourself. Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Call them now, 215-321-SELL, 215 215- Five three two one sell. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. Do you have a voicemail machine answering your business calls during the day? Oh, please tell me it's not true. I have an answering service for you that only costs $99 a month. We're real humans. That's right. We have live humans answering the phone in the name of your company and patching the calls to you for only $99 a month. And there are no contracts, so you can try it out anytime you like and cancel it whenever you like. Executech Suites, 215 942 Hi, I'm Larry Steinus, and I'm addicted to real estate. Have you been thinking about getting your real estate license? Well, have I got news for you. We are currently training new agents to be addicted to real estate. If you are tired of your day-to-day, paycheck-to-paycheck life, I will pay for your real estate school and your license. Become addicted to real estate on me. Hurry before we change our minds. Call me at 215-378-9190. That's 215-378-9190. Call now, 215-378-9190. Welcome back to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. So right now we're about to get into the main topic. We, For anyone who's interested in learning more about real estate investing, the main question is, how can you learn more about real estate investing? I think that's a great question because a lot of new investors, they don't really know where to start. And uh, there's so much information out there for everybody to learn that they feel like they're drinking out of a fire hose. And um, I know that was the way I was when I started. And... Phil and Jeremy, they definitely you know, cleared up the air and gave me a lot of clarity on what to do if you're a new investor. So I'd like to turn the tables to them and see what they think. Well, uh, if you ask me, how can you learn more about real estate investing? I got four words for you. Addicted to real estate. I mean, that's what we do. We love this business. We're addicted to it, of course. All right. And we're, we're a real estate agency, but we're, our primary business is real estate investing. 
So I wake up in the morning with one goal in mind, and that's to find great real estate deals to acquire, right? For various purposes, to make money and to build wealth. I haven't had a job in decades. I support my family through the means of doing real estate deals which bring me income by way of wholesale deals, by way of flips, and by way of all kinds of existing properties that I own that are in my portfolio, which I consider, if I'll give you a poker analogy, they're, all of my properties are kind of like chips on a poker table. And I can cash them in anytime I want. And that's a beautiful thing. So when you, when you do a buy and hold deal, you're essentially building wealth for yourself. So you're, you're building a future. You're preparing for your retirement. You're, you're holding on to deals where somebody else is paying them off. Just think about this. It's such a simple concept, all right? The real estate goes up in value most years. The mortgages go down in, in, in the amount that's owed against them most years, as long as somebody's paying the mortgage. And who's paying my mortgages? Not me. The tenants are paying them, okay? I'm not paying them. The tenants are paying them. That's right. So I'm making cash flow off of the rents that they're paying me once I've paid my mortgage, my insurance, my taxes, my repairs. I get to keep this house so the house becomes more valuable in time. And you do that 20, 30, 40 times where you have all these different properties that are worth millions of dollars. And let's just suppose, hypothetically, you're holding $5 million worth of real estate. And the market pops 10%. Now, it hasn't popped 10% in a while, but I think that those kind of numbers are pretty realistic for maybe 2017, maybe even for 2016. Depends on the market you're in. I know people listen to this radio show on YouTube, so you, you could live anywhere. But a 10% pop on a $10 million portfolio? How much money did you just make? How much wealth did you just build? Anybody? One million One dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> okay. Can't do the whole like. <laughs> okay. So you don't have to. You don't have to be uh, come up with some brilliant scheme in order to make a million dollars for yourself. You have to buy real estate, and this business is simpler than you can imagine. Especially if you learn from people like us at Addicted to Real Estate. To find out more about how to learn about becoming a real estate investor and becoming a real estate agent with Addicted to Real Estate, all you have to do is go to addictedtorealestate.com with the number 2 and put your name and email address in and I'm going to send you an invitation to the meetings that we do. I put out a TV show called Addicted to Real Estate TV and if you can't wait for me to put out a TV show, then just go to YouTube and look up Addicted to Real Estate TV and you can watch some of the old shows which are terrific. What do you think, Jeremy? Yeah, I think you need to be able to immerse yourself in the experience of real estate. And the best thing to do, like Julian said, is to come and hang out with like-minded people, people that can help you out and get your career started. There's people that have time but no money. There's people that have money but no time. There's people that have good credit, a good job. They, they want to you know pay for their kids' education. All these all these people come together at our meetings, and you know they could they could forge partnerships together. They could partner with us on deals. They could uh, you, there's wholesalers that come to our meetings. There's people that do flips. The wholesalers meet the flippers, and then they do deals together. So the best thing for you guys to do is come out to our meetings. We have them at our office. We have them at various locations around the Greater Philadelphia area. In fact, we, Phil, we should probably start s setting up some meetups down in. Uh, down in Sarasota when we're down there. We should schedule one. We should, but we, we are so busy in uh, September and October with all the meetings we got lined up. I'd say Sarasota definitely will do something maybe yeah. in November. I think we can even do something in August while we're down there. So we'll see. But uh, let's um, let's talk about other ways you can get involved. You talked about YouTube channel. You talk, We have a, a buyer's briefcase. We have a product online that you can buy that teaches you things like wholesaling, how to find deals. Acquisition techniques that we use. We use wholesaling to yourself, how to buy foreclosures, how to do options and uh, deferred purchase programs. You know, we are addicted to real estate. That's all we do. That's all we ever do. We talk about it all the time. In fact, my wife, uh, we were at a party the other day, and she said, you know, could you just not talk about real estate for just this one meeting? <laughs> and I, I didn't know what else there was to talk about. <laughs> like, I, hey, how's the weather? Like, I, I just... 
But do you ever notice that you go to these real estate, like go to any kind of social gathering? Is it just because that we're there that the conversation turns to real estate, or do you find that it always turns to real estate? It depends know. on who you're hanging around with. I was in a bar on Saturday night with my wife and with uh, Kerry, who is a, uh, a person in the real estate investing business, uh, amongst other things. She's a very talented lady, and her husband. And Kerry kept asking me real estate questions. Now, i got to warn you. If you ask Phil Falcone a real estate question, <laughs> you better get your pillow, because I'm going <laughs> to answer it. All right, I'm going to answer it, and I'm going to talk about real estate, because I'm addicted to real estate. So I think what happened was uh, her husband and uh, my wife were, were getting sick and tired of uh, us talking about real estate so much. And basically were asking us to stop talking about real estate. <laughs> it's hard to I do. Just, That's really hard to do. I couldn't do it. You know, I, what was I going to do? Say, how about them Eagles? <laughs> yeah, they, that aren't playing right now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the, the main thing is you guys need to come out to our meetings. You need to get involved. You need to... You know, put your foot. Don't even just just test the water. Just talk to other people that are doing it. Get some success stories. Yeah. Julian just got a property under contract that's going to be closing pretty soon. Yeah, let's that's hear about first, it. Tell first, us about your deal. Yeah, so um, I, I came across a deal, um, and um, it, I'm going to be closing in about a month, and it's going to be a flip. It's in Brewery Town. So I feel like the biggest obstacle for people who are thinking about getting into real estate is their excuses that they tell themselves. They always have. You know, yeah. uh, it's, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time. I don't know, have enough resources. But I found that the same people who I started doing real estate with, they're not currently doing it because they're telling themselves excuses. When I just said, I'm just going to go out and find all the resources I need. You know, I'm going to hang around the people who are doing real estate. You know, so it all comes down to if you're really interested in doing the business, just do it. You only have one life to live, so you might as well just go after it and you know learn from the people who are actually doing it because so many times people just tell themselves oh i'll do it you know after this holiday or i'll I'll start then and then it keeps on going always on and on it's like someday you know there's no there's no someday on a calendar so if you want to start i would just recommend starting today go to the next meeting this week and really just put yourself out there and start really learning the business so when is now the best time to start real estate? <laughs> <laughs> so when is yeah? So when is now the best time to start real estate? Right now, guys. So you know, <laughs> if you're interested in doing it, just go and do it. Take massive action because that's the only way you're going to be successful in anything, right? Just take massive action. So, well, that's a great note to end on. I mean, that's really what it is, people. Go to addictedtorealestate.com, put your name and email address in. And we will start inviting you to meetings. In the next six to eight weeks, we're going to have a dozen different kinds of meetings that you'll be invited to. And that's something that you're not going to find out about unless you go to addictedtorealestate.com and put your name and email address in. So make sure you do that. Right? When we come back, we're going to talk about realtors versus agents. Did you know there was a difference? Well, you're going to know all about it when we come back. You've been listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio, and we'll be right back. As a real estate agent, you know that most people buy a house once every seven years. Imagine working with clients that buy seven houses every year. At Addicted to Real Estate, they teach you how to work with investors because they are investors. Located in Montgomeryville, Hatboro, and Huntington Valley, work at an agency built for investors, buy investors, and finally learn how to invest yourself. Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Call them now, 215-321-SELL. 215-321-SELL. Hi, my name's Phil Falcone. I wrote a book called Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And if you'd love to see an investment book written by a Philadelphian about investing in Philadelphia, I'm your man. You can check out my book at addictedtorealestate.com with the number two. I have a free web TV show there. I have free investment forms for real estate investors. And I have my book that you can check out, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And the website is Addicted. Addicted to real estate with the number two dot com. Robinson Insurance Group is addicted to real estate's preferred insurance broker. Why deal with an insurance agent who only represents one company? Robinson Insurance Group can quote you all the companies and shop to get you the best insurance for your needs. Fix and flip, landlord coverage, last minute deals, no problem. Investor deals are no issue and nobody is ever denied. Call Robinson Insurance Group, 215-918-2555. 
That's 215-918-2555. Hi, I'm Larry Steinhaus, and I'm addicted to real estate. Are you a real estate investor? Do you know the value of having a real estate license? It's awesome. You get to make even more money and get exposed to deals you probably would have missed. Well, today is your lucky day. I will pay for your real estate license. Find out more by calling me at 215-378-9190. That's right. I will pay for your license. Call now, 215-378-9190. Addicted to real estate, bridging the gap between investors and realtors. 215-378-9190. I can't stand this traffic. I need a vacation. Slip away to Siesta Key in Sarasota, Florida. You can stay at one of our vacation rentals at the number one rated beach in the United States. Check out GoSiesta.com where you can rent a fully furnished vacation rental for less than the cost of a stinking hotel room. Check out GoSiesta.com or call 863-2-SIESTA. That's 863-2-SIESTA or GoSiesta.com. GoSiesta.com or call 863-2-SIESTA. I'm going. Addicted to Real Estate Radio, and now for a fun little segment here. We're going to talk about the difference between a real estate agent and a realtor. Did you know there was a difference? I didn't know there was a difference. You did. Did, did you, you know Julie? there was a difference? Yes, I did. Okay. Not many people do, though. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the analogy I like to give people is um, think of a, uh, a real estate, a realtor is just a one brand of real estate agent. Now, I don't know if there's other brands out there, but... Realtor is the only one I know of. Um, but to be a realtor means that you're a member of the Association of Realtors, the National Association. Our office, we actually have three offices. One of them is a member of the Association of Realtors, and two are not. If you're taking on clients, uh, there's certain benefits you get as becoming a realtor. A lot of our people are their own clients, so they don't really you know, necessarily need to have that registered trademark R on their business card. It's just a designation that says that they're a member of this association. Our, um, if you're a member of National Association of Realtors, you um, you pay dues, which is one thing that people like to save on. So they, they join our office; they don't have to pay those dues. You're taking on you're taking on clients. Uh, I, a lot of times, I don't even know that the clients themselves know the difference. They know the difference of whether you know they're a real estate agent or a realtor. Think of it like a, a rollerblade. You know, you ever see signs on the in the parking lots that say. No rollerblading? Well, rollerblade is a brand, just like Realtor is a brand. A rollerblade is an inline skate by the company Rollerblade, Mm -hmm. just like Realtor is a brand of real estate agent. So you could be a real estate agent without being a realtor, and people don't know. Kleenex is another word. Xerox, hey, can you go Xerox this for me? That's just a brand. It's not, you know, photo. So we give our agents at Addicted to Real Estate the option to be a member of the board or to not be a member of the board. And the board memberships cost about $400 a year. Now, you you get some benefits with that. They have a legal hotline and um, and some other benefits that they give you. But, you know, if you, if you were left with the option, for all you realtors out there who are listening to this show, ask yourself, if you were left with the option to be a board member, realtor, or to just be a real estate agent, think about it. And, and if you're interested in trying it out, being an agent who doesn't have to pay board dues, then give us a call at Addicted to Real Estate Agency because we are the only agency out there that has non-realtors. We have agents. As far as your clients are concerned, there's no difference. The difference primarily is the fees. The fees you will save, they, that, that'll save 400 bucks a year for you. And, you know, the other, uh, the other benefits that are available, there are other ways to obtain those benefits, and we have those ways, and we can make it possible for you. So it's something that's really important to agents. I mean, I know that that, that bill, when I was a member of the board, that bill was due on January, like January 1st, I believe it was due at the beginning of the new calendar year. And that's not necessarily a great time for people to be cutting a $400 check, especially when you just went through the holidays and and spent a lot of money on your kids or your family and whatnot. Um, You know, no matter what stage of life you're in, you know, if you can save money and still 
be able to do the things that you need to do, it's something worth looking into. And I'd be happy to explain it to anybody who gives me a call, 267-988-2000, about what you can do to save a few bucks and essentially have yourself make more money in the real estate investing business. You know, one of the questions I get from real estate agents is, am I still going to be able to get on the MLS? Once, If I'm a non-realtor, how do I get on the MLS? How, how do you deal with that? And uh, there's a lot of, you know, the other question is, um, you know, can I, can I take on clients? Am I allowed to take on clients if I'm a non-realtor real estate agent? And what's your answer to both of those? The answer to both of those questions is absolutely you can. First of all, MLS is a, a paid service that every agent has to pay for. And the MLS will not discriminate against somebody who is a realtor or a non-realtor. So there's no question about it. And I had somebody argue with me about this on Friday. And I said, almost our entire office are non-realtors, and they all have MLS. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. The software program is available to you. Okay. Uh, The other question, the answer is, of course, yes. Your clients... uh, don't know the difference aren't going to aren't necessarily going to care they're doing business with you because of the relationship that they have with you so you will be able to take on clients and do deals just as you always have the only difference is the ones that we've already mentioned which are pretty minimal and i myself have personally chosen i've been a member of the board for many years and i have personally chosen to be a non realtor Because the other things that you gain from being a member of a board, I have many other ways to obtain those benefits. So at this point, I'd like to talk a little bit about something that I found, that I heard over the weekend. I was down the shore, so I was in my car for about um, a normal trip down the shore is about two hours from where I live. So I was in the car for about an hour and 20 minutes each way. (laughs) And uh, I was listening to... Sonny Hill, I'm a basketball guy, and I've always uh, liked Sonny Hill. I love, you know, he's on uh, 610 WIP, which I happen to be in 610's studios right now. You can see the banner behind me. And um, Sonny said something. He said, I used to walk around with T-shirts on that said A-A-A. Hey, Julian, show everybody your your T-shirt. Julian always has these (laughs) um, motivational T-shirts on. Green Big Hustle Harder. What's it say? Dream big, hustle harder. That's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. You know, he always has these motivational, positive uh, comments on his T-shirt. And I wanted to share with you uh, something that was, you know, very interesting to me. Sonny Hill was talking about. Sonny Hill said he used to walk around with T-shirts that said AAA. And the A's, the three A's stood for attendance, attitude, and academics. No, it's not a car club, AAA. No. no, it's not a car club, right? You know, and I started thinking about that, and I said, geez, that, that applies to a whole lot of things, you know? And I think that's what Sonny was trying to do with it, too. It wasn't, it wasn't something for basketball. He was a very motivational, caring guy who, who wanted to see that people become the best version of themselves that they could possibly be. And that's what we do at Addicted to Real Estate, too. We get so much joy out of somebody... Young Julian, what are you, you 20? Just turned 24. He just turned 24 years old. Oh, wow, I thought you were older than that. Wow, 24, that's great. But <laughs> well, he acts older than that. He does, he, he does. That doesn't mean he is older than that. <laughs> but we get a lot of joy out of having a young guy come, come and join our company and hang with us and see him succeed. And, and it's not, we're not just saying that we do this because we get pleasure out of seeing people succeed. We do. We get a tremendous amount out of it. And Jeremy and I love to teach. We love to educate people in this business. But there's also ways that that we can all make money together. And Julian is learning that right now. We're about to enter into a deal with him where we're all going to make some money. So attendance, get off your butt. Get out there every day. Show up. Whatever it is that you are going to do in life, attend it. Show up. Okay? Be there. Be there for the seminars. Be there for the mentorship. Be there whenever you can. Listen to these radio shows because everything that we're talking about is important stuff. So let's talk about your attitude. Let's talk about Julian's attitude. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a young. most young kids are walking around with a shirt that say, uh, 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 what, what, what are those shirts? Be calm. What the heck does that mean? 
Be calm. All right? His is, is walk, he's walking around with a motivational saying. All the time. I always believe in wearing things that are going to inspire me. And one of the shirts I actually want to get now that you're talking about is take massive action. Just like I was saying earlier, you got to attend the meetings. You got to attend you know, going to meet up with your mentors. And then you have to take massive action once you actually are there. Learn from what – learn that – Learn everything that they're teaching you, basically. Take notes and then take massive action and then recycle. Just keep on doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so let's get on to the third A. We've covered attendance. We've covered attitude. Now we're going to talk about academics. So, you know, maybe Sonny Hill, you know, I know that he's a big promoter of, of, of formal education in college. And maybe what he was thinking there was... Um, you know, encouraging people to go further their education. But I would say that, that that phrase academics applies to what we're teaching right now. Okay, The academics of real estate investing is so simple. I tell people that all the time. It is not a complicated business. You do not need to be a rocket scientist. You do not need to be a brain surgeon. If you have average intelligence and you're willing to work hard and you're willing to show up and learn what it is that you need to learn in this business, you, my friends, can be successful at real estate investing. I promise you, you can. And that's why it's so important for you to put your name and email address in at Addicted to Real Estate Agency and follow what we're doing. Show up. Attendance. Show up at one of our meetings attitude. Come there with the attitude that we're going to teach you something that's worth learning, that can change your life. And academics, yes, you've got to learn the details of this business, but I assure you, it's not that hard. AAA, there it is. And if uh, if you have any addictions, you could be addicted to real estate and come to the AAA meeting still. <laughs> so you'd be like A-2-R-E-A-A-A or something. Hi, like my that. name is Phil, and I'm addicted to real estate. So that was a great show today, guys. I, I, I was very motivational. It started, I think, with Julian's T-shirt, you know, mm-hmm. and then yeah. we just got motivational from there on out. Yeah, I love motivation, inspiration. So uh, what kind of time do we have left on today's episode? We gotta ask Macaroni that well, question. Macaroni just told me six minutes. So Julian, you know, do you wanna give us some details about the deal that you're working on? Do you wanna, you know, share anything about it that you haven't said already? Yeah, so um pretty much uh I'm buying it with uh you guys and it's gonna be a full rehab. So buying it for uh, I bought it for eighty four thousand and it's probably gonna need around fifty or sixty thousand dollars worth of work. And we'll sell it for two hundred, two hundred and ten thousand, uh, and take the rest after the closing call. So there's still there's still a good spread in it, and it's going to be a good learning experience for me. I'm always down to learn more and more and more, and work with you guys as my mentors to help you know us make all more money together. So I'm excited. And one of the things that Julian said that's really important that I hope you people heard was he said that he was doing the deal with us. Okay, now we don't lend our students, or anybody for that matter, money to buy a real estate deal. But if you find a great real estate deal, and you're a part of the Addicted to Real Estate family like Julian is, and you bring a deal to us that's a great deal, we will partner with you on it. So I'm not saying we're going to lend money, but we will partner with you on that deal. And let's just, I tell people all the time, okay, yes, this business is very simple, but don't take on too much when you're new in this business. What would you have to do in order to do your first flip, for example? You'd have to find the deal. You'd have to fund the deal. You'd have to renovate the deal. You would have to do so many things. Okay, and so take some pressure off of your plate. Instead of doing all of those things, just do one of those things. Here's the one thing I want you to do. Find the deal. That's it. We'll fund it for you, and we will help you with all the other things in this property that need to be done. It's so intelligent of Julian to find somebody who can help him with this so that he can learn to do it the right way instead of doing it the way I did it, okay? Back in 1989, when I was 23 years old and I got started in this business, I did it the the school of hard knocks, okay? I went out there and I just learned the hard way and I made a lot of mistakes and that's how I learned. And, And Jeremy did it a much more intelligent way. Jeremy went out there and he... He paid for all these gurus' packages, and he learned from people who knew how to do it better than him, didn't you? Yeah, I would say probably in the first weekend of our um, 
of, of my investing career, I spent like $10,000 just in one weekend just buying different packages, books, tapes, whatever, on how to do this business. And um, I've been doing that, you know, for a long time. I have a whole I – mean, in fact, we should take a picture of that and put it on the, uh, the we website. Should. All the binders that I have, i got to organize them, dust them off, convert some from tape to uh, MP3. <laughs> hey, I mean, Jeremy, i got to ask you a question. Did you earn back that ten thousand? Uh, just just a little bit more than that. <laughs> just a little bit okay. more. Jeremy yeah. is a very successful, wealthy real estate investor, and even if they charged a hundred grand for that training, you know it got you into this business, and here you are today. Yeah, it's probably, okay. I probably spent close to a hundred grand just in education. But then, but then again, think about what somebody spends to go to a, a four year university. You know, yeah. what do they? I spend? went to real estate. You know, I don't know. What is it? Twenty five thousand a year. It's probably more like forty thousand a year. Thirty five yeah. thousand a year. I don't know. But the education that you can apply and the self education. We talked about that before. Well, self education can make you a fortune, whereas a formal education can get you into some student debt, and then hopefully you find a job to pay it off. Right. Yeah. So with real estate, it's it's very low risk getting into it. So I I encourage everybody get started right away. Okay, nope. so uh, as we're coming to the uh, – go ahead. Do you want to say something, Julian? Go yeah, ahead. All, all I was going to say is don't be afraid to invest in yourself. If – it, it, who cares if it's a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars or how how much it is to actually start to learn the business? Do you think you're worth it? I know you'll definitely get your money back, Jeremy. You said you, if it was a hundred thousand dollars, you would have done it anyway. I invested thousands and thousands of dollars into myself to get into the business, and I wouldn't take it back for anything because not only do I have an upper hand because I have the education, but now I have the experience. So I would definitely recommend just you know don't be afraid to invest in yourself because you're worth it. Okay, so uh, that's that's great advice, Julian, and uh, and your friends must be very inspired by you. I I find you to be an extremely impressive young man. And by the way, you're you did an excellent job of being a radio host today, radio co-host you, today. Appreciate that. All right, so uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the agency, Addicted to Real Estate Agency. We're looking for agents who want to be investors. We're looking for investors who want to be agents. We also buy houses, so if you've got a house that you're looking to sell, give us a call at 267-988-2000, right? If you're an investor and you want to learn more about this amazing, wonderful business, give us a call or check us out at addictedtorealestate.com, and I will send you an invitation. Put your name and email address in, and I will send you a personal invitation to every real estate meeting that we have. Okay, and if you're, our show runs every Thursday at 3 o'clock and every Saturday at 6 o'clock. Also, I wanted to tell you, if you're in a business that's associated with real estate, okay, you can become a sponsor or a guest on this show. Give us a call at 267-988-2000. I'm Phil Falcone. Don't forget to come to our next meeting. And uh, our next meeting is in... It's in our Happer office, isn't it? Yeah, yeah in our Happer office, office yeah. on the 17th. 17th of, of September. Yes. Nice. We'll see you guys there. Stick around for more, and uh, we'll be right back. Take care, guys. See ya. To get somewhere these days. To say you know that's all right. Yeah, that's all right.